Welcome Taurus to your September love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So I'm just going to shuffle this deck really quick. So we are going to uh, get in to how you feel about this person, how this person feels about you, um, see what they're thinking, their next move is, um, and the outcome, what is linking you guys together, okay? Uh, I am going to pull some other cards for you. What the heck? It's not even shuffling right. There we go. Um, yeah, and then clarify some of the cards. So let's see what is coming in for Taurus. One more shuffle for Taurus. All right, let's cut the deck and get started. All right. Ooh, okay. Wow. Hello. We have the Queen of Wands. I love this card. This is so inspirational. Okay. You're feeling good, attractive, getting recognition. Your energy is infectious. You're knowing your worth. You're motivated. Uh, did I say that already? Inspired, focused, ready to go. Very beautiful energy you're carrying. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Um, so there could have been a situation that was very uncommittal or you didn't see a long term, <laughs> you didn't see a long uh, term vision with. Yeah, there's a lot of disharmony, I feel. Okay. And we do have the tower coming out, which is not. Uh, okay, you survived the tower moment. You were dealing with someone that I feel that unexpectedly blindsided you for a lot. Maybe this was something that you thought was going to be a commitment, someone that came off as you know, someone that was your happily ever after, like uh, feeling abundant with this person, feeling good, had, you know, dreams and everything with them. And then all of a sudden they showed you a side that was what their, did that come from? Like their mask fell off or something. Because I do feel like you're recovering. This person may have financial issues or recovering from or feeling insecure here. Um, maybe they came off as if they you know, um, appearing more successful than they seem or saying things that they really couldn't live up to. So let's get more into it. The tower is so unexpected. I don't like seeing the tower. I do feel like you had already a tower moment with this person. So this does feel like a past one. I feel like somebody is resisting change when it comes to stability and long-term commitment, but I don't feel like it's really affecting your energy because you're coming up super, super like inspiring. Like you're knowing your worth. Like, okay, if you don't want to be in my life, it's your loss, not mine, right? Yeah, as you're closing out the world, you're like, man, okay, bye. I'm learned my lessons. Uh, and you're closing this chapter very successfully. So I feel like you guys are on to new journeys. You're inspired. You're feeling good. If some of you aren't, you know, this time will come as a chapter is closing. Okay, so there's a completion. There's a lot of success here. Um, things that were unfinished are now finishing. There's no need for closure anymore. Um, so it is completing a cycle after maybe a lot of delays and a lot of ups and downs, right? Yeah, this person, on the other hand, could be retreating themselves, but I don't see them really taking any action, but just sitting in their own emotion, okay? Like maybe acting like they're happy, acting like they're fine. I don't think this phases you though, because this is coming off to me a little immature. The Eight of Swords energy is showing in the challenge. So somebody could be still stuck in, on you or stuck on their head. Um, yeah, but with the Nine of Wands, Your guard is up. I feel your guard is up for sure. Or both your guards are up. This, per this person is thinking pentacles. Hmm. Ten of pentacles. What? Okay, that's weird. Now that you're closing out a cycle. Oh, this person's seeing you grow. They're uncommittal though. Okay, they're not on the same path as you are. 
they want to come out of hiding. Somebody's fe feeling impatient because they're losing faith that you may not be coming back. But they weren't following through and they were frustrating you. So what? Now on their mind, they're like pentacles energy, ten of pentacles. Now they're wanting some type of stability after they created so much chaos. They're wanting to offer you something. Their action is to offer you, to message you, come out of hermit load. They are feeling lonely, but I feel it's because you're coming up on top, Taurus, with the king of pentacles. Okay, like I said in the beginning, there was some financial struggle. So if you are know that you are making more than this person, protect your money. Okay, there's no need to give this person anything. I don't care if they're trying to promise you the world. Oh, it's so crazy. They know you're gonna you're successful. They know you're gonna be successful. This person knows it. See something stale here with the hair fin, right? So when the Hierophant is, it's like a stagnant energy. It's ego-based. It's outdated thinking. So I feel like with this, this person, they don't like the stagnant energy. It's making them feel impatient. So now they it's look like they're trying to come in because they're stuck. They know they created a mess. Hmm. Their guard up might, they're, you're, you and this person, I feel like this person's going to come in because they're thinking you are abundant. They know you have it. I don't care if this person didn't say that to you. They know that you're successful. They know that you're going to grow and be something. They know you're on your way. Okay. They know you have the potential to be anything you want. And I don't want to lose that. But their ways were too selfish. Were too resistant. And now you're closing out this chapter like, I'm over this. And they're like, no. And you're coming up on top with the King of Pentacles. This is abundant. This is financially stable. This is um, long-term visions, reliable, loyal, confident, loving, everything. Grounded. Making a life for yourself. Four of Cups energy, please, for this person's energy. They're waiting they're waiting, waiting, waiting. See, they're focusing on the negative with the Four of Cups and they're feeling unsatisfied and frustrated. And I feel like they're having a perspective change and realizing that their wishes aren't coming true. Like they don't know when their wishes are gonna come true. It's like they wanna start a new beginning here too. But... Huh, there's two, there's a lot of conflict I feel. I feel like this person sits there and they have these wishes and dreams, but they kind of rely on other people to make it happen or they're delusional. I feel like they're just wishing, wishing. What's this eight of swords? You are the missed opportunity, my friend. Yep, they're wanting to come together. What the heck? They're feeling lonely. They're stuck, but they're repeating past mistakes. They're not learning from their lessons. It's Percy, per Percy. Person could be feeling rejected by you here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Taurus, Taurus, what is going on? This person wants to message you. Like nothing happened probably, huh? Um, ten of pen I have pen of pentacles on their mind. They are impatient, frustrated, hot tempered. Is this Taurus? They're like scared of you getting away. You already closed it out though. Uh oh. Yeah, this person's having bad luck. Why? Because they're resisting change. They're in a karmic cycle. They're clinging on too much control. They're not. They're not um, listening to the signs of the universe. They're not operating from what the, you know, like um, from a higher level of consciousness. Ooh, this person's coming off very dishonest. So the, ooh, they're stuck. Unfair. This person feels like something's unfair. But it's them. They're in, like, yep. This person wants clarity. They're wanting truth. They're wanting, um to talk to talk a serious conversation of some sort they could be reckless with their finances or their growth 
But I don't feel like they're wanting you to get away. Yeah, but you are already on your way to success. Oh, there's a choice here, you guys, in the outcome. This person could have made you stress out about finance. Yeah, I feel like you're just exhausted, giving up, feeling overwhelmed, you know. But you're literally taking action, moving forward. You're taking control back. You have the power. I'm, t I'm telling you, there's a there's these two opposing forces that are working towards a goal, right? I feel like you are on your way to something big or going to the next level because there's a lot of success and taking action here. What is this world card for Taurus? <gasps> Dude, I feel like you closed out possibly an energy that was very ruthless. Who impulsive. Look at, they want to offer you this. But they're wearing, they have many masks. Like you don't know which, if it's a game or not anymore. You don't know what to believe with this person. They failed to learn every lesson. And now they want to offer you something. Things are not going their way. You lost faith. You lost hope. This person brought you a lot of sadness, possibly depression, and a lot of negativity because of their ruthless ways they're forceful impulsive arrogant ways they're a weak leader you know they they weren't uplifting you they were i feel like you had to close out this energy it was bringing you down too much they don't they are not i'm telling you i don't feel like this <laughs> this person like has a problem with commitment obviously we can see it on the board um but they have a lot of feelings for you. He says, I love you. But they dive in and out of relationships. I'm telling you, there's like some things that this person is really needing to work on. I feel like they just, I feel like I'm not good enough for you. But they feel you. They feel your energy. I can see myself with you for long term. And that is how they're thinking, which is weird, right? I don't know if this you know, I feel like just by you being successful, moving on, you know, just being realistic about your life and putting yourself first, it's going to attract past energies, new energies. It's going to attract lots of different energies. Okay, Taurus. So I would, I mean, somebody's having an awareness a realization during this separation. I would just be careful because you know, I feel like you know your worth, yes, but you're more energetically attractive or magnetic than you think. You have a lot of power here, Taurus. Um, you make shit happen. And some people may not want you to see that parts of you because there could be envy or jealous energies that would want to, you know, inter like not make you believe it. But you are very powerful and you're coming up very, um, like you could really get anything done. You have a lot of stuff coming in for you. And I feel that people see that and some will want to ride with you. But with this energy, I feel like they're seeing it and they, but it, they, they can't really be trusted because they brought too much negativity into your life. Yeah, this person's feeling like the, the clock is ticking, time's running out with you guys and they feel the world closing on this connection. And this could be happening today, present now or in the moment. Yeah, see, surviving daily hustle. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this person has money on the mind. They do have love for you, but they don't know how to commit. You know, they don't, they're too immature. There could be other thing, other factors involved, but I just feel like this person knows that <laughs> there's possibly an ending here or closing out a cycle with them and they're not taking it well. 
Yeah, you're having some type of rebirth. Uh, this is a huge awakening, maybe more than one. And then we have self-care and seeing the light. You are the light. It's got to believe that you are the light, right? This person, though, is a divine masculine. Okay. Um, sheesh. I don't know what's going on there, but only time will tell, it says. Okay, so beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection and then we only time will tell all right very interesting reading let's grab one more one more playfulness Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. Remember, love is the greatest healer and emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it here. Um, very interesting reading. I love your energy. It's so powerful. The inner energy knows it's powerful too, um, but they could have treated you pretty bad when they felt powerless. Okay, so... So I'm saying I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And remember, not every reading is going to resonate with everyone. But if you came this far, if you like, <laughs> if it does resonate, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon for your October readings and your collective. God bless.